we are going to address the top six questions we get from the application process. Question number one, what does the grant include? When we started giving out grants, we only included the registration to the event. But as Dr. Joe changed the structure of the retreats, we now include six hotel nights with a registration to the, to the event. So registration to the event and six hotel nights at the venue where the event is taking place. Second question, do I have to register to the event when registration is open at Dr. Joe's webpage Unlimited? The answer is no. You don't have to register, we will do, we will send you a special link where you can register. So you don't have to be worrying about getting into Dr. Joe's website and doing everything that people do to register to the event. Question number three, what happens if I need help from a caregiver? We understand sometimes your health condition uh, is, is in, in such a situation that you need someone to come with you as a caregiver. If this is the case and you let us know through your application that that's something that you need, we do provide um, the caregiver registration and hotel. So please let us know if this is your case and we will be happy to help you with this. Question number four, do I have to book the hotel? The answer for that is no. We will do the booking for the hotel so you don't have to worry about that. Question number five, what happens if I'm not working and I don't pay taxes? In our application, we are asking for documents so we, you, we have proof that you have a financial need. So if you're not paying taxes, we ask you to send us any other document where we can see how your finances are and we can have that backup uh, to make a decision. If we do make the decision and give you the grant, we have that document to back it up. And the same thing happens well, when people don't have a diagnosis from a medical professional. Sometimes you don't need to, you know, send the proof of there's, that there's a medical problem. It can, it can only be financial, but if you have a medical condition, it helps a lot if you can upload the documents you have from, from your medical pro professional or your medical um, or, or the people who are helping you go through the medical problem that you have. And number six, what do you recommend if I don't get the grant? So you can apply numerous times. There's no limit to apply for, for a grant to go to an event. And there are also some tools that you can use in your journey. You can keep doing the work, keep doing Dr. Joe's work, uh, find meditations. I think there's a great tool that Dr. Joe has, and it's the Dr. Joe Live Sessions. You just have uh, to subscribe to that program. And it's a wonderful tool that you can have because Dr. Joe goes over different questions and different topics and it makes you feel connected. And some of the questions, many people do have them. He talks a lot about health challenges and problems like that. So I think it's a great tool. And just keep, you know, an open heart and, and just trust the process. We would uh, love to help everybody who approaches us asking for, for, for a grant Unfortunately, we cannot give grants to everybody, but we try our best and we do whatever we can to help you. So thank you so much.